Hey loves, it's A back on your screen with another one. I just wanted to come on here quick and share, I wouldn't really call this a story time, but just what's been going on in my life recently. So as some of you may know, in the last vlog, that will not be the last vlog forever, but just taking a break from things, I, <laughs> there's a lot of changes going on at work and I figured it'd be fair to share them with you and also let you know that's part of the reason why I'm taking a break from vlogging. So what happened was, I was originally hired to do one role in December of 2019 when the pandemic happened in March of 2020, things changed. And I was off for six months, as you guys saw, we quarantined and chilled, I did the weekly vlogs. That's kind of where I got consistent with the vlog life and less consistent with the sit down and talk with you videos, right? After that, I was brought back on for three weeks to be closed again. I'm sure you live in a city where this pandemic has its highs and its lows every 30 seconds. So instead of letting me go a second go round, the place I work at was gracious enough to offer me admin work interim. And that admin work worked out for me because I actually got a promotion. And this promotion was far more stable than the original position because it's not as impacted and influenced by the opening and closing and shutting down in different stages of things. Well, fast forward to present day, because I have the knowledge of the first role, now that we've reopened the studio, I've been taking care of both the studio and my other new role, which as you can imagine, can be overwhelming at times. Yes, I have been stressed and impressed. And that is why I was like, enough is enough. I can't vlog every day, come on here and be who I need to be for you. So let me just reserve, preserve my energy so I can do what needs to get done and then come back refreshed. I wanted to make this video today to give you a little life update, but also to give you some insight on what it's like to live life legally blind and work. As a lot of you know, the statistics are that one in 10 visually impaired people are employed. So may the odds forever be in your favor. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm not a workaholic, but since I've had jobs since I was 14, I've always liked being useful and contributing to society. And before my eye disease, honestly, I used to put a lot of my value in what I could do at a job, how I was as a student, but that kind of got flipped upside down because you lose your ability to do things and then you can no longer put that as part of your personality, if I'm making sense. I hope I'm making sense. But I'm saying this all to say that working two roles in one is still, it's better than when I was working three jobs at once, okay? At least there's that, but it's not easy. And I know a lot of you guys wonder how I'm able to keep a roof over my head and pay rent and live solo dolo. And it's because I have no choice. There's no giving up, there's no going back to the past. I just wanna go forward and do the best that I can do each day. That's all I ask, all I pray for is that I just bring and put my best self forward. I know a lot of you guys get discouraged and I've noticed as of late that a lot of messages I've been receiving are about work. It seems like there's phases and stages. There'll be times throughout the year where everyone's asking me dating questions and how much they should share with their partner and how vulnerable they should be. And then other parts of the year, people are asking me, how do I work and what adaptive technology do I use? And then in another part of the year, people are asking me like questions about friends and going out and partying and living and makeup and beauty. It's just, it's funny how there's like little hubs, different seasons for different reasons, I guess. But I'm saying this all to say, because you know I can go off on a tangent and I want to keep this short and sweet today, that wherever you are, whatever stage you are, whether you're in between jobs, at a job, looking for a job, fulfilled or not, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a struggle, but you can't give up. It's something that you're going to have to do regardless, find ways to adapt, become your own best advocate. I cannot tell you how many times a day I tell clients and coworkers, I'm legally blind or I'm blind, remember? Because people forget and it's not on them, it's on you to teach people how to treat you. I feel like every day is a battle, straight up. Whether I'm fighting with the eights, threes and sixes on the screen or an irate customer that doesn't understand that I am not here to do anything but serve them and keep it moving. I, I just find that Every day is a new opportunity to get it right, and some days I don't get it right, I get it wrong. 
but it's the character you bring to the table that helps you keep on keeping on. I'm telling you, it's all about telling yourself that you're going to choose to be strong, that you're going to choose to be resilient, that you're going to choose to try. And if you can't, also sitting with that honestly, there's are things I can no longer do. There's jobs that I quit because... I can't do them as a visually impaired person. My vision has too, it's just too far gone at this point. And there's also jobs that I've been let go of. If you want to see story times, I got those. So it's just, it's a roller coaster. I never want to make it seem like I'm the Hulk out here, super strong with it. Like I have my days too. I get frustrated. If anything, I get a more, my, I've said this before, but the emotion I experience the most is annoyance when it comes to vision loss i'm constantly perpetually in a state of annoyance because there's things that i could do last week that i can't do today there's things i would love to do today that i could do 10 years ago that i can't do anymore but i just have to remind myself that the only thing that's real is right now there is nothing else there's no going back the future is unknown and each day like i said it's just an opportunity to bring yourself forward and learn and grow and if it means struggling some more if that's what comes with it then i won't say bring it on because i don't want no more but i will say that i'm ready for better but with better sometimes comes hard so i think that's the mantra you guys have to tell yourself as well being visually impaired, low vision, legally blind, whatever spectrum, whatever stage you're at, it doesn't matter. It's something that's going to challenge who you are to your core. I've said that many times before. I always have to remind myself just because I could do something last week doesn't mean I'm going to be able to do it this week. And once I start maxing out on screens and magnification and screen readers get overwhelming, that's where I'm just like, oh, this is a lot. And sometimes the work is really in sitting with the emotion. It's not getting the job done well or at all. It's sitting with what is and knowing that in order for you to get to the next stage of whatever may come, that you have to be able to embrace what is right now. So on that note, I'm going to wrap up this episode. I honestly hit record thinking I was going to talk more about the nitty gritty, like this is what I have to do at work. I got to photocopy, look really close at screens, take out my phone every 30 seconds, explain to clients why I'm not making eye con with, contact with them. But when I started talking, I just felt like it was more important to say what I just said versus the actual structure of my job in my day to day. I feel like whether you work in an office or a site in outer space or under the sea, if you're losing your sight, we're all going to experience the same feelings of uncertainty, vulnerability, inadequacy, triumphant, blessing, gratitude, shame, angst, pain, annoyance. So yeah, that's all I got to say for today. If you want to know more, I always share more on my private Patreon pod, so you can check that out and support. Definitely hit the like button if you want this channel to grow. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.